far off. For us, the United States, and if you go outside of the United States, many, many companies want to be successful in the U.S. We are arguably the best individual single market in the world. Even in Europe, they love the U.S. If you can be successful in the U.S., you can usually be successful almost anywhere in the world. Mm-hmm. As I was telling Nicole, we had to export because there were more opportunities outside the United States than inside the U.S., even though there's thousands of grocery stores and health food stores and gyms and places to sell pure fit, that number is substantially higher outside of the US. The other thing is this American flag, fortunately carries a lot of clout worldwide. A lot of consumers worldwide have a lot of respect for American goods, um, the quality, um, you know, our regulatory system, which is, is quite high, our FDA, for example, So when I went to certain countries that are either too small to make nutrition bars, meaning the country just can't support the volumes necessary to have their own domestic manufacturers, places like in the Middle East and Southeast Asia, they were very, very responsive to American products, American sports nutrition, because we have a good reputation. That reputation and, 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 you know, countries have reputations for outstanding products and services all across the world. But the U.S. has done a good job with certain products, um, regardless if they're manufactured here, but stuff that we make or we design here in the U.S., a lot of our products carry a lot of clout. So the pros were we didn't have a lot of competition. Um, There were foreign companies, both distributors and retailers, that wanted our U.S. goods. So that was a huge pro. And and quite frankly, the... I enjoyed the business quite a bit. I enjoyed expanding our business internationally. I think it helped our brand to have a global presence. And, and, and it, it, it helped us all domestically too, because when you tell domestic retailers that you're in 20 countries, they, they probably get a sense that, okay, these guys got their act together. They're selling not just here in the United States, but all over the world. So that product from a cultural standpoint, obviously has a lot of positive attributes because we, in my opinion, you, you, know, you shouldn't be so closed-minded that the United States is the only market there. There's, there's some great countries out there with some great people uh, that economically can't afford U.S. products and want U.S. products. And that's what I really want to stress today is I talk to buyers from all over the world, and they can buy products from their own country, which, which, which we would call domestic, but they want U.S. products. So as a country, we've done a fantastic job uh, from that sense of making good products and delivering on our promises. But for PureFit, the pros were, it, it, was, it was really a great opportunity. It was an untapped market, meaning a lot of my competitors in the US were not exporting. So I got into the exporting significantly ahead of our com- competitors. So I hope that answers the, the pros.